This is my HP Pavilion DV5 laptop and I'll be doing a bit of a review on it. Don't worry, I'm not just going to look at ports and boring things. I'll start it up and uh, play a game on it as well. Um, that mouse is not dirty, it's just well worn. <laughs> In case you see it and think, well that's pretty appalling. But no, it's just uh, worn. Anyway, I'll just do a quick overview of the ports. Um, we've got a Kensington lock. Uh, standard modem port, two uh, two USB ports, a DVD writer which is a light scribe capable. We've got dual headphone ports in case two people wanted to listen to something at the same time. Microphone, expansion card slot, and uh, card reader, mini firewire, USB, a USB uh, slash eSATA port so you can connect um, eSATA devices and USB devices. It's a dual port. We've got HDMI, Gigabyte LAN, uh, docking station and external monitor, a D-sub port. The surface is very reflective as you can see. Hello. It's got a bit of a texture on the uh, surface. Quite nice. Um, but it attracts fingerprints like crazy. And HP have been quite good. They've included uh, mi microfiber cloth so you can get rid of, or try and get rid of them. I've cleaned off so many fingerprints now, the cloth is probably a bit dirty. Pretty good. The surface of the top of the laptop is not completely flat, as you can see by the reflection. It's got a bulge in the middle, but it's symmetrical, so you don't really need to worry about it. It extends approximately like that. So anyway, I'll open it up. The screen I've got fitted on my DV5 is um, a 1280 by 800 resolution screen. So it's a bit on the low side, um, but I prefer it like that because it means I'll be able to run games um, at native resolution further into the future, less strain on the graphics card. The specs of this computer are um, P8400 CPU running at 2.26 per core. Um, actually, first I'll just show you the uh, style. It's got the same textured finish on the inside as it does on the outside. A very reflective touchpad that you can use as a mirror. And it's got um, stereo alter glancing speakers which are pretty good. They're just they're adequate really. Pretty, pretty adequate run-of-the-mill speakers. Okay let's boot it up. As you can see the screen is quite reflective. It isn't um, the infinity display which has a plastic which extends from the sides, pretty much extends from the edge of the uh, screen framing um, and that is in to you know, protect the screen and to make it easier to clean and so on. Um, but that I, don't, I prefer this display because I think the infinity display increases glare and I'm not too fond of glare. I mean it's already extremely reflective as you can see. It has an integrated HP um, webcam. Pretty standard on a lot of laptops nowadays. Okay, yeah, so it's all fully booted up. One thing that I really, really recommend you do with this laptop is calibrate the screen. Um, okay, basically, 
when you get this uh, laptop out of the factory the gamma is way too high the colors will look washed out and it won't be nearly as enjoyable as it should look so essentially um, you need to adjust the gammas the individual gammas and I'll link uh, a website to the right in the video description to guide you to um, to calibrating your LCD screen but basically um, what you want to do is calibrate the individual color gammas here so you've got uh, red, green and blue and that improves the performance of the color massively it's much much better um, for example I don't know if I can go to some of my photos uh, where are we? pictures okay I'll hang on the list yeah okay so here's me with one of my firearms if I go and restore defaults down here you can see how the color changes in this photo although it's sort of hard yeah so it's a lot more washed out if I cancel the changes the colors are much better so I recommend that you really um, adjust your gammas because it makes a massive difference and it's far more enjoyable using the laptop. A couple of other quite cool features is that it comes with um, a media center remote. So if you've got your laptop plugged into your TV you can sit on the couch, fire up media center and uh, just cycle through things like photos and um, yeah I mean it's quite neat beats getting up and doing it manually yeah so anyway uh, another interesting feature I guess is that it uses these quick touch buttons um, for volume mute, um, skip track, play, pause, stop and the wireless internet and basically you touch them the same as you would touch a mouse, um, a touchpad here yeah I've actually had some issues with them um, with the volume control it hasn't worked as well as I would have thought sometimes um, you can take your finger off it and the volume sound will keep um, beeping as if your finger was still on it there are a number of different um, fixes for it which I haven't actually tried you can turn off your laptop remove the battery and hold down the power button for several seconds and it will remove the static electricity which can cause that problem um, there's another quite cool little stylish feature I guess is that the HP logo illuminates not much of a biggie and some might find it irritating but I think it's quite cool okay let's do some Call of Duty 4 multiplayer action the specs of my laptop I'll just uh, finish telling you them now it's got the P8400 2.26 dual core processor which I mentioned earlier has 3 gigs of RAM um, has the video card is a 9600M GT 512 megabytes of RAM and that's DDR2 RAM so it's not as fast as the DDR3 versions but it's still pretty good as far as I know HP do not produce a DDR3 version of that card it gets a 3D Mark score of approximately 4400 um, 3D Mark 06 score and that's running at the 1280 by 800 resolution um, if it was running at the native or the standard resolution of 3D Mark 06 uh, it would be 1280 by 1024 and the score would be probably around about 4100 <coughs> Um, but yeah, as I said I like the lower resolution because it means I can game um, with native resolution further into the future okay
let's do some Team Deathmatch Hardcore. I quite like playing a bit of Call of Duty 4 now and then. Even though my connection isn't the fastest, it's still pretty cool. Uh, graphical options, I'll just show you. Running at native res. No anti-aliasing. Shadows off. Specular map, yes. Depth of field, no. Glow, yes. Uh, dynamic lights off. Uh, softened smoke edges off. Um, ragdoll, yes. Bullet impact, yes. Uh, model detail normal and water detail low and the texture settings are all on extra uh, and there's no anastropic filtering 